the YouTube channel of Pro End of It, and this is my review on the game between St. Helens and the uh, Warrants of Wolves, and obviously the result was Saints won 28 points to uh, points to two. Uh, this yeah, it's, it's pretty early in the morning, so if I look tired, then I apologise because yeah, it's um, 11 o'clock here in the morning in Australia, so do apologise if I look if I look a bit tired, but. Yeah, go get the review done eventually. So, um, yeah, luckily this time the game was actually uh, viewable on Fox um, because the past two games or uh, three games, I should say, they've all been unavailable for me because they've been playing on Sky and or not that they were, were available in Australia when they were playing. So that made it, made it hard, I guess. So, um, yeah, uh, this time I was able to watch them actually play, which was excellent. So I was very happy about that. So, um, yeah, you know, I, I really thought that, in general, we played really well. Saints played really well. We played very direct footy um, that, you know, really tied out Warrington. Warrington had just, you know, I, I really thought Warrington and Saints would be closer. Like, I tipped Saints win by about six or six or eight points, I think, by, yeah, by that much of a margin because I thought both teams would actually compete and it'd be nice and close. But, yeah, I think that, 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 just, shows, that just goes to show you the class of Saints. They, um... Obviously, they're a very class team. They're a very smart football team as well, and they get the job done. So, um, yeah, I'm happy for Saints, and um, that's five wins in a row now. So it's an incredible effort. And to, to tell you the truth, I wouldn't be surprised they um, go and win the grand final again because they they just on a different level compared to other teams. I think they might I think so. Yeah, four in a row. It definitely is a possibility for Saints. So um, we we'll to see if that happens, but big chance at this point. But um yeah, it's getting to the review itself. You know, I think we we're the one we were the ones that started really well from what it looked like. I think we started a lot better. Um, you know, Lomax got the opening try. Um, oh no, sorry, it was Jack Wells been looking in the wrong order. Yeah, Jack Wellsby scored the first try, and then um yeah, Tommy Mackinson got a double. Mackinson was excellent actually. It was, it was unlucky to see him not get a get another try before, but it was um bombed um in the second half, so a bit unlucky there. Then uh, Mark Percival scored a nice try after it was very tight for a while because there was a period of time where um, Saints were like leading, I think, 12 points to two at half time. But then up until then, it was very tight for a bit. So back and forth footy. But then, uh, yeah, M Mark Percival broke the dreadlock. And it was a very easy try from the scrum as well. So Percival goes in and to get the match winner, yeah, he had a great game too. Johnny Lomax in the match winner scores a match winning try and it was full time and we obviously won. Um, 28 points to 28 points to two. So yeah, very good game, very good effort by the boys. Very very impressed, and um, yeah, it was actually a really very good win. So we we played Toulouse next week. We should we look we should win, but you know I hate to get ahead of myself, but we should beat Toulouse in all seriousness. But um, yeah, look Saints were excellent. You know, there's not really much to say. They were excellent. Lewis Stoddard was brilliant. I've been really impressed with Lewis Stoddard actually, and uh, Jack Wellsby's really a fantastic job being a new fullback for us since uh Lachlan Coote left. So. Yeah, don't think we're missing Lachlan Coote anytime soon. As for Warrington, I don't know what to be with Warrington. You know, they've um they've had they've had a good start to the season, Warrington, but it's just that uh, you know they didn't really fire any shots towards Saints. Like they never really threatened Saints at all. That's that's the issue, and they were very uh, tired. I thought I thought when Saints kept the put, kept, kept them putting points on Warrington, they, they seemed way too tired to sort of react and sort of uh, hit back. So yeah, that's a bit of a bit of a concern for me for Warrington, but. That they still will be fine, I think. But it was just that Saints with a better outfit, and it's, it's very hard to beat a team like Saints if they're playing that well. So, yeah, well, well done to Saints. But uh, as for Warrington, I, I don't know who they play next week, but th they should be a lot better than what they were tonight, that's for sure. But, um, yeah, everyone, that's my review on the St. Helens versus Warrington Wolves game. Let me know what your thoughts were the, on the game were in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed it, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll catch you all in the very next video. So thanks for watching.